uh, there is some uh, stuff here that I am going to quickly, quickly intervene before something like this would develop into something. You know, if the lies go for long enough, they eventually grow into the truth. So what, well, what I want to do here right now is to cut this at the beginning, this bullshit at the beginning of the source. The FBI informant charged with lying about Joe and Hunter Biden. For you to appear with the black glasses like this after being called a war criminal, like a Gaza war criminal, that Joe Biden provenly is a Gaza war criminal. All you got to do is, and this news was involved in MKUltra, Joe Biden was afraid of his bloody deeds in Gaza. He knows he is a war criminal and was during MK Ultra when they were relying, relying me this news, desperately looking for people that would be willing to throw themselves under the bandwagon so for him so he could come up and reclaim his public credibility, his public image. All you got to do is hire them. It's identical to, let's say, Prince Harry and Pierce Morgan. I'm sure you're familiar. The mainstream media boosts the news of the media about Prince Harry and Pierce Morgan, how the two are, you know, in felt against one another, how the two are against acting against one another. And I have proven that this Pierce Morgan is a scumbag. That he is a regular balloony. It was, in fact, Prince Harry. Harry, who, the so-called mental expert, yeah, the mental expert, what Prince Harry has in common with another mental expert, with uh, another mental health expert, that will be this one here. This is like a reality. The reality is that this, this is another hushish boy. This is another marijuana boy, just like a Prince Harry was. Prince Harry, understand, and it's really commendable. It's it's really commending. It's commending that that he manages somehow to stay away from fixing himself. Was this boy here that you see? His name is a Hunter Biden. That's a son from Joe Biden. If I have to go into these issues, uh, the two mental expert, the two mental experts, you know. Uh, she's a princess now, Megan. Duchess, oh man, she's a duchess. She's a duchess. Marijuana. Alcohol, drugs, drogadito. You can see him. I am not going to even go into from his reactions, the way he acted, that his neurological system from the drugs has been actually even damaged. So what I anticipate, he might have done also some LSD and some other drugs. It wasn't only marijuana that was involved in this mental expert. Who struggled with addiction, with a drug addiction, with the alcohol. This is a real about the real Prince Prince Harry, Hunter Biden. All it takes, all you gotta do is you gotta hire somebody that's gonna make a statement, like a crazy statement, and is willing to be not only proven wrong. But even, let's say, insane. Ah, I did here. Morgan Cut Limbs. The video came out about... Suggesting that he would cut one limb and so on. Was a part of MK Ultra. This stuff was all involved in MK Ultra. The same thing as this shit here that you see.
And it was Prince Harry, not only Joe Biden, but it was identical tactic to one another they have used. They copied, like you copy cats from one another. They came out and started to What's the matter with this stuff here? They all wanted the credibility. They all wanted the credibility. So what they do is they have people like this. They hire people on the side and make statements that are blatantly unreal. And what's interesting is those do not get banned from the Facebook. They don't get banned from the Facebook. Those are okay. They're official. It's not a phishing. It's not a lying to the public. It's not a misinformation. It's all legit. It's all legit. Prince Harry did not stop with a Pierce Morgan with this stuff here. Uh, eventually, the statement of Pierce Morgan, according to MKUltra, would lead to several other sources based on which it would be proven also hired to act mentally ill which would be proven beyond a doubt that there are mentally ill people out there they would want to hurt prince harry why the hell is just no video about this i have to waste my time on this trash You do understand, I hope you do understand, that Pierce Morgan is on a pay list of British royals. I hope you do understand that he gets compensated by the British royals for his job. And based on MK Ultra, he will proceed eventually. I have no idea what the fuck is this thing here. Look at this. There is absolutely no video where I could go and see and get my information. It's all covered, basically. <sighs> now, I really like the show. I really like the show where they discuss this issue and they make it really difficult. They make it really, really difficult, time consuming, time wasting. No, no, this actually is Morgan slams concerned Prince Harry for crashing King in the past. Piers Morgan slammed Prince Harry for his recent visit to King Charles in the UK. The My friend, you're really beautiful. You're really sexy. But it's the news. It's a different kind of news I'm looking forward to today too. Maybe. It's going to work this way. Just a video, please. Viewers were stunned by Pierce Morgan's comments. Uh, folks, sorry, this video is not available anymore. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Uh, there was uh, some dude that participated also in MK Ultra, a young dude that sided with Prince Harry and, and acted like his defender, like his... Uh... 
I'm going to say caramba. Fuck this. Let's go here. Because I think it's the only way that I'm actually going to get this video done. I need to go to the toilet. I don't get paid by the porn news. I don't do the porn news. I don't actually do the porn. This is like you, you hire people and then you... What you do is you cover the media, you cover the news with the lies, with the shit. You throw the dung in the people's faces, basically, on a daily basis. And that's how you build your reputation. That's what I call media porn. Like you produce this like on a on a kilos on in a mass in a masse to cover the the news that actually matters like slaughtering of people in Gaza, <laughs> killing people like myself, real people through the use of all kinds of crap that appears out there. Sheridan Whatever Smith, they managed to find. Diagnosed with ADHD at the age of 42, saying she's now able to make sense of things in her life. All right, so this is not uh, the video again we are looking for. All right, it was a video. I am not going to... I don't understand why this would pose now such a threat to Prince Harry. Uh... So I understand that I damaged Piers Morgan and Prince Harry's reputation publicly, severely. And it will be very, very hard now as a result of that, even if you would get across some more of those bots that you hire, bots for hire, that are willing to throw themselves and depict in a public as mentally ill, or maybe even use Central Intelligence Agency, MI5, to actually get people tortured like myself, do something, enough damage to them so they could display, they could display some form of mental illness that you would use to eventually depict yourself as credible as a persona that is a, as a person that's actually worth the public trust. That's why this video, because let's make sure Let's make sure that we send these people in historical repository trash bin where they actually belong. Let's see what's happening today here. That's what I want to know. Next to my case, and that one doesn't look good, does it, for these people? I want to know about this stuff here. What do they say? 28,000? That's like an old number, and it's not even a real number. The U.S. government, when it comes to numbers, they are extremely manipulative. And they do the numbers, whichever numbers they fit them best, whichever numbers fit their political agenda. They will kill and they will exterminate mercilessly when it is convenient for them. And they will talk and talk and talk and talk about the human rights again when it is convenient for them. Navalny, I frankly, for the for Alex, Alexei Navalny, at this point in time, I cannot say whether he is dead for real or he's not dead for real. All I know is he did work together with the Vladimir Putin. And all I know is that the deep Russian state have used Alexei Navalny as a shadow of Vladimir Putin in case the war in Ukraine for Vladimir Putin would go downhill. And this news you see right there rather suggests that Vladimir Putin is doing extremely well in Ukraine.
There was some other news from Ukrainian side, however, that I cannot release to the public. I will not release to the public because, yes, I am advocate of the free world, global stability, the right to Ukrainian people to exist. So that this 100 year long extermination genocide procedure, which Russians launched long before Vladimir Putin, once and for all is stopped. I, I will not go and gamble, I should say, I will not go and cast my uh, gamble with what is written. But personally, I do not believe that he is dead. This is just my personal view. Uh, however, my personal view could be very much wrong with whatever might have happened in actuality. This is Russia, and Russia is just extremely, extremely unpredictable country. A Russian politic is just extremely, extremely unpredictable. It's difficult to predict. Because in Russia, a human being is just as weird as in the United States of America. Not much. If the foreign life is worth the United States of America at all, if Alexei Navalny would truly be worth something to the United States of America, United States of America, I am 100% certain, would get one bailed out of Russian prison, just as he bailed American journalists that went ahead and incarcerated themselves, publicly displayed qualities of spies, so they could trade them for other issues, Ukrainian prisoners and so on, uh, with Ukrainian prisoners, etc., etc., etc. So once you see Alexei Navalny like on a front page pronounced that he's dead, it doesn't matter what country you're from in the world, you too should understand that you're not worth shit. For American diplomacy, you should understand whatever you're located at in this globe, that you're not worth jack shit for American diplomacy. They will go to your country, wherever you're located at, and they will express their concerns and doubts about your officials and search for whatever is convenient for them. While working with them, behind your back and use you as a trade commodity for their advantage against the country's officials whatever you're located at but don't think for a second that you as a human being or something you present a value to them of any kind that they are actually concerned for you this also is why this video this is also why i do this video That's the end for me when it comes to Navalny. No, it's not. Navalny is not dead. 100% is not dead. His wife, something is saying, see, there was his wife that was asking me, uh, assuring me that he's really, really, really dead during MK Ultra, It was his wife that was assuring me that was really, that he was really, really dead. So he's not dead. It's not the end of it. This is the last information. They did deliver me to the Russia afterwards. And I did, based on MK Ultra, political porn, which I have referred to as a political schizophrenia. Mainstream media show, political mainstream media schizophrenia show. That's what they're doing to every one of us. They were assuring me 
that Navalny, however, is really, really, really dead. And Putin was not too far from there, too. Mm, this is just, uh, this is just really nothing. This is nothing. This is just my comment is being removed from a Facebook that you see right there. It's not a big deal. This is not a big deal. It just says that, what it says right there, it says that I tried to gather sensitive information from you people. Now I came, and now I became a James Bond and a spy and a threat to the world, to every one of you. I am now gathering your private sensitive information. I am actually further even distributing to you, to your computers, infecting them with a malicious software. So is what Mr. Zuckerberg claims. They have managed, since I post a great security threat to you, remove my comment from my Facebook account, from the account of Bastian Hauser. Indeed, because blog download updated on September, January 17, by the way, this is like a long time ago. Uh, it appears like it appears like that I did share the blog in one of the links that might have actually had something like who the hell knows. Uh, because why the hell is that? Why, why have I done this stuff? Well, because Mr. Mark Zuckerberg, Mr. Sergei Mikhailovich, now also known, known as a Green, from United States of America, where he is at now. We are talking about Google founder, Sergei Mikhailovich Brin, a little boy from Moscovia, who was involved in Antioch with me as a little boy. And he was actually, today I'm going to identify one. I didn't know who he was, but he was actually one of the Kids that I embraced in Russia, that he was actually very nice with me before they immigrated to the Estados Unidos, United States of America. But now he became smart. He grew up. I will never forget how he built the fucking plane uh, in the back of the his uh, Larry with a Larry Page, like a children. They started to. I am not going to go into it. To play with them, they didn't know what to do with the money once the doors opened to them to the Google. Uh, you, the taxpayers, finance that with your American tax dollars. I am not going to go into it. I mean, go over and you're going to see what kind of stuff this goes in lies of these people. So, yeah, it probably is a link. Because I was told that I should upload to as many to as, as different websites to share my blog, because it would be U.S. government that would trace, like what the fuck is not not uh, reasonable here to, uh, I'm not going to say assume. Do you see it? Do I need to assume? What the fuck is this? 19 views. The main 19 views, 18 views, 21 views, 19 views. What kind of stuff is this? Does it does it take you have to be genius? You gotta be genius for you to actually come to conclusion that United States of America government actually is doing a stuff like this, you don't have to be genius. You don't have to be genius to see that the United States of America government, central agency, central intelligence agency, federal bureau of investigations, British MI5, MI6, German intelligence are doing everything possible to choke this blog as much as possible. Lie about one.
discredit me discredit me cachuritos marijuanitos elesditos drogaditos so they can have it their way so they can portray reality the way they want Because this here is not reality. The reality is whatever American mainstream media, whatever the Western world of dementia, psychiatric violence and dementia depicts you, that is the reality. And you never mind if it matches the brutality and viciousness exceeds greatly, actually, of even the Soviet Union. It doesn't matter. Those that remember Soviet Union would also recognize that this is by far worse than what even Soviet Union was, what you witnessed on this laptop. And there are facts. I'm not lying to you. They brainwash me that sharing it only on Google or Dropbox, let's say, or uh, some other platform uh, would not be sufficient because it would be the U.S. government that would eventually prey on people, uh, whoever would be downloading this blog and then trace them inside of the house and uh, take away their job away from etc etc which i'm 100 they're also doing through the use of diplomatic services wherever you might be located beyond disgusting and again just in lines with my words I outline in respect to comparison between the soviet union and what became eventually even my homeland with naturalization through the naturalization process in year 2000 when I became American citizen also. Disgusting. Super, super duper disgusting. If I want to know truly how much a human being is worth in this world to the Western world, to the United States of America, there's no better place to look than at my own case. And then you will understand that they are not in your countries to learn about your struggle and to help you, even to give you a dollar under the table or open you some career or somebody from your country. And that's exactly why they're doing abroad, bring them abroad and in apprentices help them and so on. So they spread their lies, basically. Lie is a good word about something that is totally non factual, that is unrealistic. That's also a lie, just so you know. And those are the lies that make turmoils throughout the world. Bloodshed, they call it bloodshed. With people start taking sides against one another for the benefit of self-destruction. That's how Central Intelligence Agency worked throughout this case. That's why they will be using me to penetrate in every remote area of this world. So what we can look forward to, and what's basically coming next for us, is about more groundbreaking coverages like the one you see right there, so that the people like Prince Harry, as well as British royals, Joe Biden, and whatever you want to call them i don't know what you want to call these people how you want to address these people how you want to see them that's up to you will reclaim their reputation they will get their public image back in place and you're gonna accept them and say yeah we have the leaders we have the leaders that are reputable they are dependable you can rely on oh my god let me have my fucking burger king my smoothie, 
because we live in the land of free and brave. We're going to have more of this shit here. We're going to have more of this stuff now coming out. So there we... So that we are going to be more raped in the face with the lies so we can be more appreciative toward the elite that is working very hard for uh, for our better tomorrow, you know? That's what we're going to have. We're going to have more people, uh, you know, um, Pierce Morgan, based on Mickey Ultra, he only opened, uh, uh, I don't know how you would say, he opened, uh, well, to the people that hate Prince Harry, uh, that hate British royals. Are there any people like this? Is it like reasonable to hate British royals? No, man. If you hate British royals, you must be mentally ill. You got to be mentally ill. I'm sure there is nobody whose ancestry have been slaughtered, colonized, enslaved, cut their limbs, have their limbs cut like the slaves had their limbs cut, literally. Watch a little bit the stuff that went on by the Windsors. Of their deeds. I watched about the Congo, how basically it was done. How their relative Leopold of Belgium dealt with cutting limbs. My God, we're gonna have a fucking crap like the Pierce Morgan going on. We're going to mistake in British royals for those from Congo that actually had their limbs cut off. I should not be underestimating the power, the sense, the reason, the intelligence quotient of Prince Harry. As he once even stated, they're being seen by the public like uh, like a zoo. You can tell this guy was high all too often in his life. Kind of humorous when you consider I'm 52 years old. And of those 52 years, three years I lived without being hijacked, drugged up, and subjected to the torture. On behalf of these people, and sometimes even by these very people that you see right here as one of them. Yes, Harry, I know it's not people. It's one person I know, Harry. For the difference of Harry and other British royals that loaded themselves with uh, alcohol. I never drank alcohol. Now I have had constant any drugs. No marijuanito here. No drogadito. No hashishi. 
still, these are the people that placed me inside of the psychiatric hospital in 2012. That's basically what you get. That's basically what I get for 40 years of MPR torture. So you're going to have, I guess, more of Prince Harry news, and maybe even some Joe Biden is going to jump in between to make some more insane Israel-Gaza statement to bail our president out of the cahoots, whatever you want to call this. Here I give you a date and time. I'm going to say thanks for watching this video. Yeah, fuck you too, eh? Fuck you too, don't worry about it. It's free. It's a free media. It's a free world, and I give it to you for free. It's, it's a gift to you. Harry stated to me, and I don't have to worry about it. Whatever I'm going to say about him, because he's so big, is what he claimed. He claimed that he's so wealthy and so big. With British royals, I was asking them, it wasn't only him. I was asking Prince Charles, now King Charles. I was asking them why they're doing this stuff to me. I told them, aren't you afraid that I eventually will go after you with the police, that I eventually will write about you, that I eventually will give you out and write about who you are, what you have done, what you got yourself into. And they said, nah, man. We're so fucking big that don't you worry about it all. Just right. That's all. They figure out if that's what Prince Harry, and I want to really thank him for it, have explained to me. The worst news is when there is no news about you. When you are so big, when you are so mighty, when you are a king of the world. It doesn't matter what kind of news is out there about you. And I guess that's true. The worst they told me is there's no news. And so they classified me into the lot of the people that are mentally ill. And that's what I would be used for. Thank you very much. Next to the so many bots they have, I guess. That you can just go out there and you can just produce. You can just go and you can just bombard basically the media. It's not about only being big. It's not about being so big. But next to so many bots, if the people play paid with us providing a special favors to the British royals, so they would appear in a mainstream media. Hollywood actors, uh, NBA stars, boxing stars, uh, sports stars, uh, journalists, and so on, that they could do the articles for them. They, they, were, they were eating, biting each other. To participate in mainstream world, media world. So you can imagine how massively corrupt and criminal this post-Soviet world is. From the side of the land of the free. Of the mighty United States of America. And great to the great Britannia. United Kingdom. They were biting each other. They were, they were bleeding each other to death. So they could have articles written whichever way their editors would approve of the British Royals didn't make waste no fucking time typing they had people that would contest they would describe them how what they want and they would have them write the articles the way they wanted take the photos whichever way they felt they would want to be seen Use the army, the regiments of psychiatrists and psychologists in the rear. 
to examine whether that would be good and so on. They have to pay a fucking time because they own your fucking mainstream media, your Western world of lies and dementia. Don't you dare to patronize to me with these black glasses like this because I take them down as you see right here. And I give you a nice little smack. Now you can put them back so it won't be seen. Next time when you step in front of the public, 